It's actually kind of weird that Rito exists. I think I might have talked about this in the Breath of the Wild Let's Play, but canonically, the Rito descended from the Zora. So to have a game with both Zora and Ritu is rather strange. But also, <laughs> Nintendo's kind of in this kick recently of, of retconning the lore of their games. I don't exactly know how I feel about that. Uh, Pikmin 4 is no exception. It It's kind of ridiculous how, how retconned that game is. Straight up, uh, seemingly, erasing Pikmin 2 from the timeline entirely. And Breath of the Wild as well, where we have things alluding to... I think it's right over here somewhere. Uh, referring to Majora's Mask, when Majora's Mask is in a separate dimension. Um, and also referring to things that are in different timelines and are, in fact, mutually exclusive. It's a weird choice, to say the least. But I also wonder if it's a symptom of Nintendo thinking, Hey, we kind of flew by the seat of our pants and just did what was cool, but maybe we should add, s from starting now reset things a little bit to a blank slate and then maybe have a little bit of continuity and and lore and world building which if that's the case it, it remains to be seen because it's the start of this then i'm okay with the change all the other adults have left the village to investigate the blizzard or to procure a sl supply of food i believe my husband and i are the only ones still here that said link the children have taken up the res the adults responsibilities while they're away they've divided up the work between running and uh, cooking and running the shops with each of them doing their share Okay, so she does not care that her child is dead or alive. I mean, it, it could be either one. Uh, this is a good reason for us to have returned because we're going to get some quests that we can complete while we're out adventuring the mountains with Tulin. Four tummies make for happy Rito. That is why I like learning new meals out of the recipe book. I saw one in there that I know everyone would love. A fish pie made from Staminoka bass. Doesn't that sound yummy? Problem is, I can't leave the village to catch a Staminoka bass, thanks to this dumb and stupid and dumb blizzard. I have everything else about the wheat, goat butter, rock salt, but I'm gonna if I'm gonna make a fish pie, I need the fish. I need Staminoka bass. So please get it for me. And then <laughs> puberty can finally hit and I can have my real voice because this is the weirdest child voice pal has ever done. It's very strange. Uh, we've already been through here. Okay, well, cool. There's nothing left for us here. The Korok mask hasn't even chirped, so... Back to business, then. That business being the birds. And Tulin. And the poop bucket. What was that I needed to put inside here? Was it just any fruit? Aha! It is any fruit. Sweet! Okay. Hello. Thank you. I'm not entirely sure how useful that is. Um, I kind of wanted it to be the opposite direction, but it should show us behind, right? And how long will he reveal that for? Does he reveal it this way? Doesn't... It doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate. Um... Be that as it may. Oh wait, no, that is that is the direction I want to go. Perfect. Okay. Well then, neat. Uh, we'll go over there and get that cave. Up here. Where are you? Hold on. Where? Where do you come from? Oh, hi. Okay. Tulin, I'm not gonna lie. You're a little bit creepy. Like, creepier than Riju, because she has that whole spirit thing going on, but you will too. Um, but right now, you're just a normal guy. Um, a normal guy that just... is always following me. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. Okay, so the... the cave is supposedly underneath here. Oh, there it is. An awkward little cave. And a... and the Korok I was looking for. Right next to each other. Neat. Just a little signal in case you had the Korok mask or in case you, you know, really like picking up rocks. Uh, let's remove that. And there will be... There will be... Staminoka bass? Chill friend. Okay. And 
probably enemies if I had to hazard a guess. I mean, I, we're after the bubble frog just because it's it's on our path. It's easy to find. Little root from the tree that's up there. Oh, cool, cool. Just a shrine. Where's the bubble frog though? Odd. Those aren't guaranteed to show bubble frogs, right? Maybe he's up? Huh. Well, I guess we'll deal with that in a second. For now, we have a shrine. An actual progress to be had. Lever power. Wa-wa-us shrine. Uh... There's a little bowl. Okay, that's... I'm not even gonna test that. Um... Is there a wee way for me to cheese this? There is. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, you know... Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> this is the solution, right, guys? This is- this is what they want me to do. fallen. It probably would have been better for me to have fallen, but... Huh, that was close. And now to do this the intended way. This is what they wanted us to do, right? Like, it's so obvious to me. Oh, that's awkward. Um... Oh, they added a ladder. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll do it the intended way. Listen. Listen. Y'all have been enjoying me doing the, the... Clearly, the intuitive way, right? And uh, far be it for me to not keep doing that. But this one looks like it actually has to be done proper way. Which actually is not this. Okay, maybe the intended way was easy. Maybe. Oh, but we need to get that. A spicy elixir. Alright. Shrine done. Game ruined my fun. You know, the funny thing is... I don't think that there is a bubble frog in here. Where would it be? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I counted my chickens. They're still hatching, and there it is. Make a liar out of me, game. Jeez. Oh, Tulin, you startled me. Tulin. You can't just drop like that. I thought you were a horriblin. Oh. Where is it, Link? Okay, so we do have... We have a pretty tight space that we can actually take Tulin. Which is unfortunate. I'd like to, you know, I'd like to explore with him, but that's fine. We, the space that we can take him, I think, should be pretty vast. Where there's snow, we can take him, it's looking like. Let's fly this way. I hope he doesn't lock me out. Let's use, uh, let's use his buff. It's on a fairly short cooldown. Um, not enough to you really use it um, multiple times per flight, but... There will be some scenarios where that's possible, and looks like he's okay with us being here. Yeah, okay. 
The, fl the floor is lava. This is snow. As long as, as long as we're touching the white dusty substance, then the white dusty bird is, uh, is on our side. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Uh, okay. Do I have any, f I, I have my freshly made rock weapon and I have this, which is actually going to be better. I have 200 arrows. I should... There's no reason for me not to use these. Can I kill this? In one go. I should be able to. Got him. At the end of the day, a stone talus is still a stone talus. And now... I always forget that they drop the hearts. Let's give this a shot. Rocket shields. That's awesome. Look at that. Uh, I'm not sure if I have the stamina for this even still. If I can make it to this ledge, then I'm fine. Which I can. Oh, this ledge isn't that great. I should be able to get my stamina back on that tiny, tiny little thing. And that'll give me the boost. They really didn't patch that out. That was a thing in Breath of the Wild. You can just hold against any surface. And it's not perfect. It has its limitations, but if you do it right, which I just did, should have enough stamina to get across get up this when I wouldn't have otherwise. Thankfully, moving up and diagonal doesn't actually seem to uh, slow our, our vertical movement down any. It's kind of non-Euclidean in that sense. ominous looking place for some reason it just feels very dark doesn't it i'm kind of expecting to run into a lionel here hereabouts oh <laughs> yeah uh, I, did, I didn't even see him and this isn't where there wasn't one here in breath of the wild you don't hear me the blue lionel okay let's do some stuff here. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Wow. I'm surprised by that. Uh, no, 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 no. No, we're not going to use a ruby. Um, I've seen what those have done. Thanks to my roommate. And that's not something that I'm interested in doing. That would kill me like 10 times over. They're like super bombs. We're gonna shoot you in the back of the head. A couple of these. I'm not gonna use my Lionel weapons. There's just no point in that. Oh, <laughs> I actually closed my eyes there because I thought that would have been cool if I got that down, but I did not. So I looked like a fool. All right. Ow. Got him. What you doing? What you doing? Okay. I'll happily get some hits in on you. I've learned something I didn't even know in Breath of the Wild that I should do. I didn't get the shield bash on that, but that's fine. It looks like the blue ones don't have the full combo. He missed. All right. I would have shield bashed that no matter what. Let the record show. He's going to stop on the rock or just miss. Can I get on him? Nope. He's really not that difficult. There we go. That's what I wanted. Because I have an improved flurry rush. Look at his health just disappear. Oh! That was close. I misinputted there. Okay, he's dead. Whew. I was worried there. I would have been fine. Probably. It's only a blue light now. It's only a blue light now. That's... Okay. Um... <laughs> 
You know, I don't know why they made the decision to make, uh, you know, the, the pickup, the pickup, uh, item button be the same button that activates your champions. I would have loved basically any other button. I feel like the run button, oh my word, the run button would have been the one. That would have been, I need to get rid of some of these. Uh, you know what, I'm actually, I'm gonna drop my sapphire sword. I know that's crazy, but I'm, I'm dropping it. But instead they made, it, it's almost like, it's like the, uh, the Mario 3D world situation all over again, where they made the same button that picks people up be the same button you hold to run, which I know in, in, I'm, arguing that that should be the case here, but it really should, and they could actually... Uh, bo both of them were a hold input, whereas this one is just a, a quick press. Okay, Tayo Sipun Shrine. Let's go. Forward or backward? Let's see, what do they want me to do here so I can choose not to do it? They're doing that. This is usually where they would hide some sort of secret. chest over there. Okay. I assume that I need to recall this and use it to clear away from myself. Okay, that stops them from falling. And then this throws the chest at me and actually hurts me. And that's the entire shrine. Maybe? Question mark? Is this better than anything I have? It's better than that. I'll drop that. Did I not drop up the- drop, or pick up the Liz- I did- I did pick up the Lionel though. Okay, cool. Oh, there's one more challenge. Um... Why do they give me that? Oh, wait. I- I got it. I got it. This is odd. What does the button do? Ah, perfect. That makes sense. Drop it. Use that ball to launch the other ball. Done. And they even made it so it lined up perfectly and would get a hole in one instead of uh, going around the base or the the rim. We're not done yet. Uh, do do do. This one's easy. Very easy. Child's play. And this one. Oh, I see what they want me to do. I think? Maybe? Oh, yeah. Oh, this one's neat. I like this one. Because we're going to place it in this, in the little cup there. What does that cup remind me of? Oh, it reminds me of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, which is... Why do I remember that? Why is that the th first thing I thought of? But they're like the, there's the scene with all the like little contraptions in that movie near the beginning uh, that like make the guys, the main characters, breakfast, and they're all really cute and cool. You know, uh, growing up, and I guess that movie is predates me a little bit, um, but Rube Goldberg machines were very popular when I was a kid. In fact, it felt like almost every children's toy was some sort of Rube Goldberg contraption creator, which is sweet. It, I mean, there's just a certain charm to them. It's like, it's like dominoes on crack. 